you're doing good, I'm your host Jason and welcome to my Doric Website Builder tutorial. With Doric, you will be able to create a stunning website using AI in no time. All you'll need to do is type in a few prompts. I will be using a link in the description that you can use to sign up. Once you have tapped on that link, you will be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on try it free. After you have done that, you will have the option to sign up using your Google account or any other email address. Once you have entered your email address, you'll be redirected to this page. From here, you can select the role that best describes you. So let's say for example, I were to select entrepreneur. After you have done that, who will you be building your website for? Will you be building it for clients, yourself, your business or other? I'm going to be selecting for myself. Then how did you hear about Duric? You can select Google or any one of these options and if you are first hearing about it now, you could tap on YouTube. Then select finish. After selecting finish, you'll be redirected to this page. And this is the dashboard at the moment. All you'll need to do is close the pop-up. Then you're going to tap on create new site with AI. After you have done that, you can enter your site name. So for example, I'm just going to call this test site. Once you have done that, you can type in a description of your website or business. So for example, let's say I would like to create a portfolio website. So I'll simply type in, I want to create a portfolio website. After you have done that, you can select a language, then you'll tap on generate your website. After you have selected generate your website, you can give it a few seconds while your website is being composed in the background. You can tap on X to close the pop-up right there and you can see our website is being generated right here. Once it is up and running, I'll be showing you how to quickly customize it and you'll see how stunning it will look by simply using their AI platform. You can see right there, it is being generated right in front of our eyes. So you can see the header section has been composed and scrolling down, you can see right there, pages, you can see the different pages that are being generated. And once everything is to your liking, all you need to do is simply tap on stop generation and you'll be able to stop it right there and you can start editing it. So after it is finished composing this particular page, I will stop it so we can start editing it. So let's do that real quick. So I'm going to stop it right here. After you have tapped on stop generation, now it is time to edit it and add your own personal touches. So let's say for example, you would like to change the logo or you would like to change the header section. All you need to do is hover over the header section. Then from there, you can tap on the section you would like to edit. So if we wanted to change the logo, we'll tap on the logo. Then from the right hand menu option, you can see right here, you can tap on the trash can to remove the logo or you could tap on generate image with AI and from here you could type in a prompt so you can see right here you could tap on image library and you could upload an image by tapping on upload image right there you could search for images that are already saved you could tap on generate with AI and you could type in a command or you could go onto unsplash and from there you could use copyright free images it is completely up to you you can also choose whether you would like it to be clickable or not by tapping on links, you'll be able to paste the link. And you can also see the different pages right there in the navigation section. So you can see the home page, about page, the work page, and also the contact page right here. Now, once everything is there liking, you could change this style if you want. So from here, you could tap on advanced and from there, you could edit the font font style and you can also edit the typography if you want. Once you're finished, you'll tap on the X to close out and from here you can continue editing. So for example, if we like to edit the text, we can tap right where you see portfolio and from there you could type out whatever you want. You can also change the font style and size once more. And if you like to make it clickable, you could tap on the link icon right there. And you can tap on any section to quickly edit it. And if it is a case that you'd like to add something that you don't see, 
For example, any form of element, you can tap on the plus right there to add a new container. And you could add, for example, this container right there. After you have done that, you could go over to the top left hand corner, tap on add elements. And from there, you can see the different elements that you can add. So you can add social icons, navigation, heading and title, text, progress bar, counter circle, all different type of elements you'll find quick access to by going over to the left hand menu option as you can see right here. And to get more elements, you can tap on the plus right there. So let's say for example, I'd like to add a contact form. I could simply tap on contact form and you can see that it has been added. And then from there, you can edit your contact form fields from the right hand menu option. It is as easy as that to use this platform. And if we were to go over to the top left hand corner, you could tap right where you see page settings. And from there, you'll be able to edit the page title. You will also be able to edit the page description. You can also edit the page meta description right there and you could tap on advanced. If it is a case that you'd like to paste in a header code or a footer code, you can do that. You can also preview how it would look on a tablet. You can preview how it would look on a mobile phone, as you can see right there. And if we were to tap on components, from here you'll see the different sections. You can view the different rows and so on. And to view all pages that are currently on your website, you will tap on the third icon from the top left hand corner that says pages and if you would like to add a new page you'll tap on the plus right here and then you'll see an untitled page pop up after you have tapped on untitled page from here you can tap on add section then for example i will choose this container box after you have chosen the container box you can tap on the plus to add an element from here i could add heading then I could type out my heading. After doing that, I could tap on add new section. Then for example, if I wanted to add another container box, I could do that. Then tap on the plus once more. Then from here, I could scroll down and you can see the different elements. I can scroll down and you can see the different elements right there. You can add a progress bar, as I said, or you could add a text box, then go over to the right hand menu option and edit that text box. It is quite easy and straightforward to use. You can also tap on navigation and you can see the different navigations. Another thing that I should also show you, if it is a case that you like to change or choose a different page as the home page, all you'll need to do is select pages. Then from there, you can tap on the page that you would like to select as the home page. You could tap on the three dots. Then you can tap on set as home page. If you'd like to also edit the name of the page, you can tap on update slug and name. And from here, you could edit the name of the page right here. So I can type in a different name. I could also update the page slug as you can see right there. It is quite easy to customize. Once you're finished customizing your website to your liking, all you will need to do now is tap on publish in the top right hand corner and you will be provided with a Doric dot io subdomain and you can type in whatever you want right there so i could call it test website and then you'll tap on publish site and your website will be live hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching